Hey, welcome to Wednesday Workouts. And today I've got my favorite apparatus with me, one of the round apparatus, the spine corrector. We're gonna do a short workout on the spine corrector today. And if you watched last week's workout on the mat, this is actually a wonderful ending to do after that workout. This is just gonna be a short workout, yet thorough. And we're gonna start with a couple, sort of as though we're doing some mat exercises. Um, they're all mat exercises as well, and we're gonna do them on the spine corrector. The first two are a little tricky. So just be careful. We're gonna be balancing on the tip of, on the top of the barrel, and it's a little bit easy to kind of fall back a little bit. So just take care of yourselves. You won't fall far, but still better to not fall. So you're gonna put your low back pretty much on the apex of the barrel. And it'll take me a little, figure, a little bit to figure out exactly where to be as well. And so the exercises we're gonna do are single leg pull and double leg pull. So your leg position might be a little different than on the mat because you are balancing. And then you're gonna pull in and then be careful as you switch because that's where you wanna be in control. And you can see I'm wiggling a little bit. We're gonna do about five sets. And this is, you're doing a lot of work with your stomach and your butt and your ribs to not fall off. Let's do two more sets. You can do like five sets or eight sets. And then don't get lulled in the complacency with this one if you found your sweet spot because now you're gonna bring both legs in which is gonna change the lever a little bit. So it'll be, it might be hard to pull yourself completely together. This is double leg pull. I can't even look at the camera. <laughs> so pull in and reach up. And then pull in and come in. Inhale, reach. Exhale it out. Inhale, reach. Exhale and pull in. Two more. Ooh, I hope I don't bite the dust. Mm. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now we're gonna turn onto the stomach and we're gonna do a little of the swan dive. So again, you're gonna find a little balancing point. And if you're used to doing swan dive on the mat, it has a pretty dynamic rhythm on the mat. Here it's gonna be all about how long you can make yourself and it's gonna be very gentle as a sort of seesaw kind of motion. So try not to hurl yourself at the mat because you might take a face plant. Again, keep yourself safe. So it's really not about finding the absolute fine point of balance. You wanna really keep your swan with you. So your upper back can't go away or this is gonna fall down. So arms out to the side and a little bit forward. Lift up to your swan and then reach your legs. Getting, keep getting ever longer. Five is plenty. Sit back and round your back. Okay, turn around. You're gonna nestle your low back into the crook of the spine corrector. And you're not really reclining, but you, you do wanna take the support of it. This is the teaser. And I'm gonna give you a few options. We're gonna go from sort of basic to, if that feels fine, here are some options for you. Okay, so teaser, lift your arms, and come in. If that's already challenging to keep your legs up, your stomach in, and balance, that's all you have to do three times. If that feels fine, you can lift up, and you can stretch your back all the way over the spine corrector, as much as you can that you can come back and then you can come in. And again, if that feels fine, then don't bend in again. So you'll just go over as far as you can and come up and reach. And then lift and go over and come up and reach, up to three times. So now, if all that feels fine and you want a challenge, let's do the Mac Daddy. So this is essentially teaser three. Everything lowers, everything comes back up. Your, your back won't, may not, it's totally adhere to the barrel the whole time as you're unfolding yourself. So teaser, up, everything goes down. Everything up, everything goes down. Everything up, one more. And come back in. How'd you do? Those are really, really fun. And just do as much as feels good to you and you'll just build on those skills as you do it more and more. So now we're gonna do sort of the nice part of the spine corrector. You'll sit 
just a little south of the apex. Hold the handles, lower yourself with control until your head and shoulders are on the mat and your hips are pretty much at the top of the barrel. So this is the part that we're gonna stretch and you wanna make sure your low back is nice and supported so that this is the part that's gonna open, not your back. I mean, you're not gonna arch your back. Okay, so we're gonna do some leg circles. Nestle your ribs and your back, pull that in as a fixed point, stretch your legs away, keep feeling like you stretch further over the spine corrector and circle. Let your legs be easy, not tense in the air. Feel like they reach longer on the way up. Do three more, that makes eight. Reverse, scoop up. This is five, six, seven, one more. Use your stomach, bend your legs back in. So now we're gonna do little beats of the legs. Pull your stomach in, stretch your legs out. In place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull in, reach a little further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one more set there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come in. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little massage. Now we're gonna do the scissors and the bicycle. The legs are gonna start straight up for the scissors and then really stretch all of yourself way over the barrel as you stretch the leg and then out and up. And you may notice that my top leg is staying to the ceiling. It's not coming over my face. And although this makes a nice little split shape, this counterbalance is making this get a little bit of a vacation. So keeping it here makes this has to work, have to work much harder. Uh, where was I? I'm just gonna adjust my position. So stretch one leg up, one leg out, and lengthen it to come up. And do about five sets. I think one more makes about five. Bend your knees for a moment. So now we'll begin in the same position, but we'll take it to the bicycle. So starting up scissors, pretend you're doing the scissors again, and then it turns into the bicycle. And again, you wanna feel like this is lengthening all the way from your back. Your leg is just a, an extension of your back right now. Let's go the other way. Just three to five sets, come back in. And then let's do one other one. So we've been focusing on lengthening the legs out and the lower body in general and these last two exercises. So the choreography of this next one, which is helicopter, is gonna take us in a direct, different direction, but you wanna still imagine that it's lengthening the lower body, regardless of the, chor of the choreography. So now you will take one leg forward, one leg back in the split. Lower body lengthens through the helicopter, and then it lengthens to come up again. Go back to that same split, so you get to helicopter once in each direction per repetition. So that was one set, we're gonna do two more. <laughs> if I can figure out which leg I started with. Yes, now I remember. <laughs> so reach your toes and your stomach far away from each other. And kind of let the hip hang out a little bit so that the stomach and the bottom can work so that the hip really gets a nice stretch and an opening. If you hear any crunchiness, more stomach, more reach, less talking. <laughs> uh, so now we're just gonna do a little um, massage to finish before we do our little rest position, the best part of the spine corrector. And as 
you, you're gonna begin to circle your legs, giving your low back a massage. Try to keep your tailbone not lifting off the mat. If it stays down, it'll actually stretch your back a, much more effectively. We're gonna do three circles in each direction. And then you're gonna go the other way. And then lift yourself off the spine cracker, push it away, lower yourself down with control, and rest with your legs over the barrel. This is the really nice moment the savasana of Pilates. <laughs> Shh, no, yet there's no yoga in Pilates. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much. If you have a workout in mind that you'd like to see in a video one week, please leave me a comment. We'll have a chat. And meanwhile, I'll just be resting here. <laughs> And then use your stomach, lift your legs up, and go. Open leg rocker. We're gonna do five like this. One more. <laughs>